If it ain't, buddy. Can you believe this? It's red. Look at this. In the back of this creek here, we're bass fishing, and I have caught a redfish on a baby brush hog. This is a first for me. I hear that it happens a lot. But uh, this is probably about a 16-inch red. We'll measure them here in a second and just see. Yeah, but I got a measuring I, stick if you need it. We saw one earlier, and uh, I didn't bring the rod with the measuring stick on it. I got a, I got a measuring stick if you want. I'm curious how long he is. Let me get it right here. Step right. Look at the oh. little redfish. Watch your foot a little bit. Sorry. There we go. We're going to put this fish back, but unless you want him, Neil. But oh, no. He's uh, 16. Yeah, he's a legal red. A slot legal red. red. Slot red. Bass fishing for redfish here on outdoors. You never know what you may pull up when you're bumping around back in these creeks off the delta. Have you caught, you catch these fairly regularly, Neil? There he is. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh just missed him. You uh, catch these reds from time to time when you're yeah, fishing Yeah, you catch them more in the salt grass up in the, uh, the front part, but not back here. I had never caught one. Oh, man. Loving that. That was a treat. Good deal. Well, this color I've chose here first off that's actually ended up being the bait that I've stayed with most of the day is a, it's called a baby brush hog, but the color is PB and J, just like peanut butter and jelly sandwich. How about that? So we're fishing with peanut butter and jelly here on Outdoors. Here we go, Vanya. <laughs> Airborne. He never even had the worm. And I shot him out, look at that. He was drafting on your worm. You just pulled him in the boat. Yeah, I did. he was still holding on to his mouth, but he was never hooked. That fish, they're flying in the boat here on Outdoors. Later, we moved to a new area. I fared pretty well fishing from the back of the boat and away from the bank at first, but next it was Neil's turn to land some Delta bass. Here. Good one. Oh, man. Woo, that's a nice one there. Yes, it is. In the boat. Quality fish. How many times did you throw in there on that fish? Three times? Three times. There you go. There you go. pounds, three quarters, two pounds. 14 inches. Yes. Five of them, five alive. Did you start culling up? Right. I've caught bass many times before in these waters. Sometimes when the water clarity is better, you can catch fish in the open rivers and bays. Check out this trip that produced some nice bass on crankbaits. Well, we came up here in the Raft River to do a little bass fishing today, and as we were entering into our area to fish, we've spotted a couple of bald eagles. We've got a nice pair of eagles circling overhead in the blue sky. It's a gorgeous day, about 60 degrees. We've had some cold weather, but it certainly is nice today. Well, now we're up in the Raft River, and we're doing a little bass fishing today on Fox 10 News. And this time of the year, when it starts to get cold, they prefer a crankbait. This is a bandit crankbait. Water's real clear right now. It's a little salty, and we may catch some redfish too, but we're targeting bass today on Fox 10 News Outdoors. You can see most bass live around stumps. They kind of make this area their home where there's a lot of structure where they can ambush bait fish and feed. Well, our technique here is that with the water a little bit colder, we're throwing crankbaits. We're using a bandit crankbait. It's a diving bait. This little plastic lip on the front of it allows the bait to go deeper. This one runs six to eight feet. It's pretty bright colored. Uh, it's got a little chartreuse in it, a little orange, a little black and it just wobbles right like that through the water and entices these bass. Nice fish. That's about a two pound fish there. Nice old bass. It's a good fish there.
nice raft river bass there, about two pounds, a little chunky fish. Yeah, we always catch and release these bass when we fish up this way. One of the biggest things about fishing is looking at the prevailing conditions and coming up with a good game plan for success. And here we are on this pile and tide. We pulled in here behind this pilings and I just hung a nice little bass. Kind of have to be careful reaching into their mouths when they when you're fishing with the, one of these crankbaits because of the, the treble hooks. So I'm going to grab them by the side and then grab them by the mouth. If you open a bass by his mouth, it paralyzes him so he won't shake around on you too bad. Put this fish back. Ease him back in the water. There you go. 